What is up you guys, this is Kaisi from Kaisi Gaming bringing you the best knife only class setups and getting knife only chem strikes here on the Carnage Clan. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm the Knifer of Carnage, I can produce chem strikes and also great gameplays and also very nice class setups that I will be showing you in just a bit here in great detail. And you guys, hope you enjoy and good luck on those chem strikes. Okay, so here, I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, I'm going to go up right to the top. This class I named Amp is my main class I use for all chem strikes. Uh, I'll get into it. Uh, I do have a secondary, the M9A1 with the tack knife. Uh, the reason why I have the tack knife on there is because it's just a quicker melee. It's just it can help you survive a lot easier. I suggest that one. Uh, I have my lethal as a throwing knife as always. Uh, the perks are agility, marathon, reflex, dead silence, and amplify. Uh, I think for all chem strikes, especially for knifers, Dead Silence and Amplify is a must. I really suggest those. Uh, agility and Marathon, it's always good to keep a constant sprint, not really good to have just a delay. Like if you don't have Marathon and you just have Agility, you can run fast and stop occasionally. It could really mess you up. So I suggest both of those perks together as well. Uh, classes down here, Strike Package, uh, Words of Apollo, and maybe a couple of people. Um, if you do take off, say takedown, that's my third kill streak. Uh, if you take that off, as you notice, bonus at nine kills, bonus at eleven kills. If you take this off, it's bonus at nine, so you can get all of your kill streaks, or say four perks on the bottom, all at once and at nine kills instead of eleven. Um, I actually just learned that from one of the recent videos. It's really useful. I probably I'm using that from now on. But anyway, if you look at this, this would be domination. This would be free for all. Domination free for all. It's it, I, I really suggest that. Okay, so what I have is sit rep, and the reason why I have sit rep before off the grid is because sit rep, I die a lot faster by IEDs and grenades and all explosives than actual people with guns. So, in case it works different for me, you can always switch these, but I definitely suggest these two perks. Sit rep is probably a must. Uh, I I love that perk. And um, in case on the bottom, bonus at, uh, bonus at nine kills. I suggest blast shield because again, grenades. Like even if they don't pop up when you have sit rep, they can still kill you. So I suggest this one. Uh, tack resist. Not many people use like any of like the stuns or anything because once you throw it, it's gone. So people don't really use that much. But you can always switch these two out. They're always really useful. And blind eye. I suggest that because you don't want to get killed by airstrikes and like any of that. Like helicopters, not very good. And uh, scavengers a must as well. Pick up your throwing knives. That helps you feel it. And to get and again, this is a chem strike class, so hardline is also good. It turns your 25th kill streak to a 24, getting the chem strike a lot sooner. All right, so now I'm gonna go down to primary. This is a class purely for fun, probably when I don't know what to do. Uh, not much class uh, has changed from this one. The only thing I have different is I have double lethal or extra lethal instead of amplify, because this I'm just running in. This is mainly a feeding class. You guys don't know the feed is at the top right, and people like when they stick together. So having double uh, extra lethal together is probably the best thing and I, I put scavenger on this class in case you get it later on you get it uh, at the bonus at 12 kills also if you take that off the grid as you learned before it's bonus at 8 kills instead of 12 uh, if you don't think you can last up to 12 kills and you want to get it by 8 always good to do that as well and just from the other class the bonus at 12 kills does not change it's the same kill streaks all right, so specialist. This is purely feeding class. This is actually the only class I use on strike zone. Strike zone is the smallest map, and there I can get feeds better. Uh, perks are kind of the same. The only thing I switched is scavenger, and instead of amplify. So I'd keep that instead. Strike package is also a little different. I want to get dead silence and amplify as soon as possible in case I get on a long kill streak. I want to be ready for that chem strike. So that's why I have it. And also same as here and before. Take it off the grid. You have a bonus of eight kills. Very very useful. So those are the classes for the knife only chem strikes, and also if you have the s if you have balls the size of basketballs, words from Apollo, this is the class for you. This is a throwing knife only chem strike. I have yet to get one, but if I do, this would be the class to do it. And I'll read it off to you. If you guys don't know, right shield can have a radar. I suggest that. Uh, lethal would be one throwing knife, but as on the bottom, extra lethal can give you two. And in case you want to take off, maybe marathon, maybe put on scavenger to get uh, extra little scavenger packs on the bottom to get the throw and ice back you could always use that but I suggest marathon because it's always good to have a constant sprint especially when you if you want to get out of situations um, I also got reflex dead silence amplify and extra lethal um, and also down here it's gonna be a bit different I don't need specialists I don't need all the fancy perks I won't be doing much action I'm probably this class is for sticking to close quarters and mainly just that uh, 
This has a SATCOM and an ammo crate. If you guys don't know, ammo crate can resupply throwing knives, but they only resupply one. You can't just throw it against the wall, pick it up and have two. Once you lose both, you'll only resort to one. So try not to lose both when you have the extra lethal. It's always good to keep both. Like It's good to have the step to pick it up. Good to branch out and go grab your other throwing knife because once you lose both, you're done. All right, anyway, that concludes the class sets for the combat knives and also just feeding classes as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped out. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, guys.